Hello there, fight friends. MMA Andy Cotterill here with the inaugural MMA Weekly Recap. This is a new segment I'm starting today, Sunday, January 7th, 2024, uh, and I'll be putting one out every Sunday that will keep up to date with all the latest news in Canadian mixed martial arts. So this being the first one of the new season of the new year, there's actually not a whole heck of a lot, but there is some, a couple of good morsels to share with you. We're going to start off with Fight League Atlantic. Uh, FLA is a very popular maritime-based event, and they've always had re uh, reliable, really well-put-together events. So they've given us a couple of news. Actually, just yesterday they released it. So we knew they were going to be having an event on June 8th. However, we didn't know exactly where it was going to be. I thought it was going to be in Sackville, Nova Scotia, but now they've announced it will be in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. So Dartmouth, Halifax, if you're not from the area, Dartmouth, Halifax are basically the same city. Uh, they're divided by a body of water, the Halifax Harbor, and a couple bridges connect them. So one or the other. Regardless, this is fantastic. This is their first event in Halifax slash Dartmouth. Uh, wonderful. I wish I still lived there. I'd be there for sure. Uh, next off, they announced that FLA 16 and FLA 17 dates and cities. FLA 16 is going to be in Picto, Nova Scotia on September 21st. And the day before that, they're going to have their Kumite 7th on September 20th. FLA 17 is going to be in Moncton, New Brunswick at the casino on November 16th. So that's wonderful. I really hope to make it out to one of these events one of these days. Uh, you know, it's pretty far to travel for me from Ontario, but I know I'm going to do it. All right, uh, we only have one Canadian fighter fighting this week, and that is Thunder Bay, Ontario's Kelton Sneave, and he's going to be fighting at LFA 174 in Prior Lake, Minnesota. Kelton is one of those fighters that you may not have heard of because he's uh, he's not from a big team. He doesn't go down, you know. Sometimes when uh, when events bring in Canadians, they bring a, bring a whole group. Kelton's like a on his own man. He goes down, he fights, and he wins. He's got a six one amateur record, and he's going into this fight with a one zero professional record. So I'm sure he'll be two zero after this. Uh, for the rest of the month of January, we only have three events in January, Canadian events. We have a Unified MMA 55 in Toronto on January 19th. It's going to be a great card, as always, with Unified. This is the first time they'll be having their event at the Rebel Nightclub. Uh, this is where uh, Prospect Fighting Championship has had some previous events that I've attended. It's a fantastic event for live mixed martial arts. If you get a chance to go, you should go. Next, of course, the night after on January 20th is UC 297. Lots of Canadian fighters fighting on that card, so it's going to be incredible. Uh, once again, if you should go, you should go. This is a boom time for Canadian mixed martial arts. Finally, in January, on uh, 27th of January, Montreal Fight League will be having their 34th event. Uh, MFL is a an amateur-based organization, and they always have a, a bunch of fights on with some of the up, you know, true up-and-comers of the sport in Canada. So, uh, yeah, go to that if you can. Uh, if you're wondering where I'm getting all this information I'm sharing with you from, uh, you may not know, but uh, MMA.ca, my website, has an upcoming event section. So just follow along with me here in the video. If you go up to the to the bar here and you click here, you'll get the upcoming events. You go and you'll see that I on the top I have all the Canadian fighters fighting outside of Canada. Uh, and you'll see there's a few there right now for 2024 so far, and that usually gets pretty populated as the months goes by, uh, followed by the MMA events in Canada. So as of right now, those are all the Canadian Mixed Martial Arts events mixed martial art events scheduled for Canada for 2024. That's updated almost on a daily basis, well pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, so make sure you check out there if you ever want to see where your favorite fighters are fighting or if there are any events happening in your local town. So that's it for so far. That's the first one. It's pretty small and I'm sure it'll expand from there. Uh, if you like this so far, please leave me a comment and just tell me what you think. I'm also not sure if I'm going to give it a name, like is it going to be the weekly update or the weekly... Uh, I don't know. Do you have any ideas? Share with me, please. Um, and as always, please help out MMA. We don't get really paid much for this, if anything. So most of our money is actually going out to attend events and bring you all this, all this, uh, all this news. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, everything you can. We are on Instagram, clearly. We are on uh, TikTok. We are on Facebook, and we are on uh, X Twitter. So please do what you can to help share MMA and get our news and our message out to the sporting world. And I will talk to you next time.